This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's Tuesday today, which means we're doing a top five list. And if you saw last week's video, you'll have seen me uh, talking about my five favourite uh, blues rock albums of the 70s. And the reason why we're concentrating on the 70s and continuing to do so this week and for a few more weeks to come is because of a TV show that I saw, basically a music discussion programme, <coughs> that... Uh, put forward the case that um, the 70s was possibly the most fertile and diverse period in rock music history. When you think about that period from 1970 to 1980, you had uh, the birth of metal. You had uh, kind of the the kind of blue, heavy blues of the 60s was becoming more of a blues rock genre that was still quite closely kind of associated with 12 bar kind of formats. But it was it was beginning. It was still rooted in blues, but it was becoming something that wasn't blues. Um, you had the whole country rock thing, the singer songwriter rock. You had the whole folk rock thing punk came along new wave of british heavy metal progressive rock all of these different kind of sub-genres of rock um and in essence in the 70s there wasn't really a rule book yet nobody was uh, kind of there weren't any restrictions on what you could and couldn't do it was just all a bit more kind of experimental and perhaps that's when the golden age of any art form exists um so last week as i said we looked at my fi five favorite blues rock albums of the 70s and what we're going to do this week is talk about or i'm going to talk about uh, my five favorite rock bands of the 70s what I mean by that is bands, or albums rather, that you can't say, yes, that's blues, or that's kind of progressive. You know, it doesn't have the 12-bar format as its main kind of focus, so it's not really blues rock. It doesn't have the, the complex time signatures and key changes that you would expect with progressive rock. Um, it doesn't have flutes and fiddles involved, so it's not country rock. It's not punk. It's not heavy enough to be uh, really described as metal. So it's just these albums that you think of as great rock albums that you can't really say, well, it's, it's some kind of offshoot of rock, if you see what I mean. Mainstream, I guess you could call it this list is by no means meant to be uh, a definitive list of the most important or most influential uh, rock albums of the 70s these are just my favorites so let's start looking at what they are with black rose by thin lizzy yeah black rose by thin lizzy talking about kind of classic 70s mainstream rock you have to talk about thin lizzy and I, it was a toss-up here really between uh, black rose uh, which is just sneaking in under the wire in in 1979 uh, or live and dangerous and it could have been either of them in this place on the list um but of the two i think i prefer uh, Black Rose. I love Live and Dangerous, one of the great rock live albums, but for me, live, uh, Black Rose just, just kind of cinches it. I just, I love that album from top to bottom, start to finish. It's absolutely fantastic. Gary Moore plays guitar on it for, for crying out loud. You, and you know my thoughts on uh, Gary's playing. There's just not a bad song on it from, you know, kind of, um, the title track, uh, do anything you want to, um, you know, Sarah, you know, got to give it up, uh, with love, just track after track after track is just, you know, it's, it's an album full of songs that could have all been massive hit singles. Um, I, I love that album always up. It's fantastic. And it had to be on this list. Next. Highway to hell by ACDC. Yes. Again, another band that you simply cannot ignore when you're talking about good old-fashioned straight ahead mainstream rock from the 70s um you know of the bon scott era highway to hell is definitely my favorite album um i would say my two favorite acdc albums are um highway to hell the end of the bon scott era and back in black the beginning of the brian johnson era but that one doesn't count because that was 1980 uh, so we can't have that one uh but yeah highway to hell again another album which is just kind of 
incredibly good full of incredibly good songs you know you, you kind of you there's never a track you know when, when we kind of made that transition from vinyl to cds and it was so easy to skip a track even easier now with mp3s and spotify it's one of those albums where you never want to skip anything because it's, it's just you know every every track is as good as the next and as good as the the last as the previous one so yeah highway to hell had to be on the list next boston by boston yeah i mean boston what it what can i tell you it's just for me it's not only one of the great rock albums of the 70s it's one of the great albums um of any genre of all time it's incredibly good um i did a, a video like this a little while ago talking about five bands where you only need one album and this album featured on that list because frankly you know none of the sort of subsequent output from this band or this, this tom schultz solo project which is really what it is um you know uh none of none of the other albums ever measured up to this but what an album this is again there's no tracks that you want to skip from you know more than a feeling uh you know kind of let me take you home tonight hitch a ride four play a long time peace of mind it's just every every song is just absolutely stellar all the way through it's just one of it's an album i will never ever tire of hearing it's just you know you, you you get some albums and you kind of like them when you first hear them but then they start getting a bit old and and you you think yeah i've heard that too many times this is one album well all of these albums but this one especially uh, is an album that i will never ever think that of it's fantastic in every way and it had to be on this list next down to earth by rainbow yeah um my favorite rainbow album by a country mile mainly because of uh, graham bonnet's voice don't get me wrong some of my favorite uh, rainbow moments exist on other albums i did um a series of videos a little while back where i was talking about my favorite performances by this band or that band and you know, that's when i did the uh, the rainbow episode of that um of that kind of um series of videos then you know there was a like you know um what's it called man on the silver mountain and uh 16th century green sleeves you know both dio tracks and i surrender you know i think uh that uh joel in turner uh track was w- were on that list but for just sheer you know my favorite rainbow album uh it has to be down to earth i mean you know all night long uh since you've been gone of course again that's the sort of song that uh could get really old you know you've heard it too many times but no it's it still sounds as fresh and as vibrant every time i listen to it but you know the eyes of the world lost in hollywood making love just fantastic songs all the way through and graham bonnet what a vocalist best vocalist i think uh that rainbow ever had and um you know just what what a voice the guy had and it was just the perfect coming together of all all the ducks are in a row the wind was in the right direction and that album was just i think it's just again a fantastic classic rock album of any uh era but especially the 70s so it had to be on this list next bad company by bad company indeed the original uh well not quite the original super group but one of the the best super groups of the 70s you know paul rogers and uh and co and mick ralphs from uh was what the hoopley was in wasn't he and you know all these kind of musicians and uh contributors who'd been in uh various other bands um king crimson you know we had uh refugees from from uh that outfit and you know just a fantastic album i mean you know can't get enough um what a song <laughs> you know you know any album that even just has that one song on it is is a winner in my estimation but you know the title track bad company uh what else have we got on there i just need to refresh my memory yes um i wouldn't care i was only listening to it this morning uh ready for love rock steady don't let me down the way i choose loads of great tracks on that album you know a, an absolute and the fact that it was a debut album as well you could tell that uh they were all willing this new project that they'd all come together to do to be a massive success and boy was it with this album again it's um it's just a fantastic album and <laughs> paul rogers voice i mean come on you know absolutely epic singer uh from my hometown as well so it, you, that, that does factor a little bit in my um in my uh reasonings but yeah 
absolutely love this album love the band and um if i had to choose a bad company album from the 70s which i think i had to then it would have to be this debut album so there you go those are my five favorite let's call them mainstream rock or hard rock or you know whatever just main kind of rock albums you can't really describe any of these as being progressive or folk rock or you know metal or anything like that these are just straight ahead rock albums they all came out in the 70s and these are my favorites of that period of that genre let me know what you think down in the comments let me know if you agree with all my choices or if you disagree with them or if you have any suggestions of your own I always like to read what your take on these little very personal lists uh, that I come up with um, you know it uh, just kind of lets me know my audience a bit better but that's the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it entertaining in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button or the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it I'll link to all of these albums down in the description so go and check any out that you are not familiar with um, but that's pretty much it for today don't forget the live stream on Friday 5pm every Friday 5pm UK time every friday we drink beer and talk about music and guitars what a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now